to determine the velocity of a pulse propagated through a stretched slinky. A slinky is a long helical spring, usually made of steel. It is flexible and has appreciable elasticity. It produces transverse waves when one end is fixed and the other end is stretched and given a jerk at right angle to its length. It produces longitudinal waves when compressions are given at regular intervals of time at the free end of the slinky. A disturbance which propagates through a medium is called a wave. Ma'am, how can we determine the velocity of a pulse propagated through a stretched slinky? Velocity is the distance travelled by the wave per second. Velocity is equal to length covered upon time taken. Centimeter per second or meter per second. Let's do an experiment to determine the velocity of a pulse propagated through a stretched slinky. Our aim here is to determine the velocity of a pulse propagated through a stretched slinky. The materials required are a slinky or spring of negligible mass, a stopwatch, a meter scale and a fixed support with a hook. Procedure Tie a spring of negligible mass to a rigid support. Stretch the spring and create a disturbance in it. Simultaneously, switch on the stop watch. Note how the disturbance is being transferred to the fixed end. Note the time taken up to which the disturbance reaches the other end. Measure the natural length of the spring. Repeat the experiment to take at least three readings with different lengths of the same spring. One can produce transverse as well as the longitudinal type of pulses in a spring and find the time taken and thereby the velocity. Observations Natural length of the spring in centimeter, time taken by pulse in second, velocity in centimeter per second, longitudinal, L1 is equal to L2 is equal to L3 is equal to transverse L1 is equal to L2 is equal to L3 is equal to Result The velocity of a pulse created in a spring will be different for different lengths. Precautions Hold the slinky in such a way that the slinky should be parallel to the ground. While giving the jerk, slinky itself should not move as a whole. The start and stop of the watch have to be done very carefully since it may make the velocity vary. The stop watch may be of least count for accuracy of readings. The spring should have no mass since it will change the velocity. Measure the length of the spring accurately thank you ma'am this experiment has made the concept very easy to understand